ako here sa Kuwe, um, lahat ng mga co-employees ko, sobrang welcoming. Even though uh, beginner lang talaga ako, talagang binigay nila yung trust sa akin na I can do it, I can do a good job. Mas naging open ako kay Kuro, parang I can be who I am talaga. So talagang na-express ko talaga yung buong-buo yung sarili ko. I'm proud to be an employee of Kuro Technica. So here kay Kuro Technica, unang-una wala naman discrimination kasi maraming ano, LGBT din na nakikilala ko, like transgender, bi, bisexual, and then may mga gay and all. Welcome naman dito and then wala naman other discrimination. So here in Kuro, since I'm a rehar, and experience ko naman before, 2017, 2018, that there's no discrimination. So wala na akong ano, sarili ko na mag-reapply dito kasi I know naman na here in Kuro, lahat tayo is may equality and may, ang talaga, walang discrimination. Yun yung respect from pagpasok ko pa lang sa uh, lobby, uh, yung greet nila sa'yo, parang kung long hair ka na, yan, kang bakla ka na, pero tawagin ka rin lang ma'am. So parang, ano, garden, nakatouch naman na, mga mga tao sa'yo. Pero since kahit yung talk ko, sa meal siya, pero yung nag-CCR, pero wala naman silang discrimination. Just to share with you guys, Um, sa first job ko, madami akong nadaan ng interview. Most of that interviews, lagi akong nadidiscriminate because of my sexuality and my gender preference. Lagi akong nadidiscriminate. And nagulat ako nung first time na pumasa ako dito sa kuro, nakita ko nung yung mga kasama kong mga part ng LGBTQ community. And uh, nakakagulat pa dun is nagsa-celebrate tayo every June, which is a Pride Month. Nag-celebrate natin ang um, yung mga kapatid natin na part ng LGBT na para, parang mayroon tayong boses dito sa kuro, hindi lang sa daban. Simula kung pumasok ako dito, simula ng training ako, lahat naman ng guard, lahat pati yung mga utility dito, uh, tinatawag nila ako as a mom or madam. Ganun sila kung paano magtrato. Pero siguro pakiramdam ko na rin naman na alam na nila kung ano talaga ako. Mas na-enjoy ko rin dito kasi yung mga tao, uh, marunong silang uh, bumati ng uh, Hello ma'am, hi ma'am, good morning. Siyempre na-appreciate ko. And then nagsisare kasi ako sa, ano, sa mga girls. Ganon din sila ate, ng mga nasa ano. Pinatanggap rin naman nila. Hindi naman nila ako pinapasare sa, ano, sa panlalaki. Kasi okay din naman sa mga girls na nandun ako sa restroom nila. Ang kaganda dito, tsaka mababait rin po kasi yung mga tao. Pag meron pang concern, ina-assist ka naman agad nila. Yan yung kaganda dito. Masaya din po kasi there's a lot of activities na we're in lahat ng yeah, LGBTQ na involved dito sa kuro. Kaya nakakatuwa na ako na nakita ko yung mga kapatid ko na nakakatuwa na ako 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 na nakakatuwa na
head, our service delivery manager head for um, some projects, which is Sir Gil Avila. Sir Gil, are you here? Hello. Ayan, Sir Gil, please open your camera and your um, microphone. Sir Gil here. <laughs> Medyo maraming camera sa studio ngayon. So, hindi ko lang saan ako titin yun. <laughs> Ay, narinig ko tayo ni Sir Gil. Sir Gil? Gil! Yes. Yes. Hi, Gil! Hello, Sir Gil! Hi, good afternoon everyone. I can hear you guys. It's just that there's an echo. Yes, I can. I can now. Yeah, hello, Sir Gil. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon. I'm doing great, actually. Okay naman. <laughs> okay, so suppose that Sir Gil, di ba nandito ka then with us, but meron, syempre, nagkaroon ng mga konting um, um, problems, but it's fine because naman, as long as you're here with us, dito sa ating event this afternoon, even remotely, that's very, very fine. Thank you so much for gracing our invitation. Sure, no worries. Ayan. Sorry, I wasn't able to go on site today, so that's why. Yes, it's okay, Sir Gil. Ayan. Aside from Sir Gil, of course, we also have another guest from sales team. So, let me introduce to you, A. Solero. A, please open your camera. Hey. Hi, A. A, mag-unmute ka. Ayan. <laughs> Unmute yourself. Okay. Hello. 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 Yes, kaya siya nagkasakit si Bobo. Yes, sa paulan pala, pag-alabi sa ulan si A kahapon. Ano siya lang? Yes, so ayan, so let's start with our first question. Yes, so hello everyone. Ayan. So, sa mga viewers natin, of course, good afternoon also. Ayan, hindi natin sila nakita, pero let's wave na lang din to them. Ilan na bang ating viewers for this afternoon? Secret muna for now. <laughs> okay, secret one for now. So, what is this rainbow project all about? Ano ba tong for the quick chat session natin this afternoon? Well, aside from we are celebrating Pride Month because June is Pride Month, ano pa ba ang mga itatackle natin for this afternoon's um session? Yan. So, Sir Char, um, nung in-invite ka namin, what made you, um, you know, approve or we accept yung aming invitation to be part of this um, that's what exactly. Honestly, kaya walang kapo uh, yung pag yes sa inyo is because Toro Technica really is an LGBT, it's a safe place for LGBT people. And I think it's um, fair for everybody to know how it is to work here in Toro Tech as part of LGBT culture. So, and it can be naman like every single day of the future. So, it's better I mean, this this is a better avenue for us to highlight um, as part of LGBTQIA in the corporate set. Ano ba yung mga contributions? Yes. Ano ba yung nagagawa? So not just you know the the fun stuff, but also work related stuff and also the skills that we are giving the uh, betterment of the entire team. Thank you so much for starting. And of course, aside from that, um, our guests for this afternoon they will also be sharing their experience us with the terms of kung paano ba yung um, acceptance as well dito sa, sa workplace, not only in Kuro, but you know their experiences sa mga workplace na, na pagkabaguhan na rin na. So, okay, um, thank you so much for charging for that. And then, syempre, tanongin din naman natin si Sir Gil. Sir Gil, 
what made you decide to accept our invitation for this afternoon's um, session? Um, well, actually, um, talking about um, LGBT rights, uh, participating in any pride uh, pride activities or Pride Month um, celebration has always been part of my life on a yearly basis. So being invited actually to talk about our experience and uh, what are we really celebrating for Pride um, is actually something that um, I am grateful for. It's because I always have um, I always have this um, desire to speak my mind about um, how we feel. Uh, you know, it, it makes us feel uh, included in all in everything that is happening within our organization, and that is very very important. Too. So it's actually my pleasure, and I thank you very much for inviting me over to uh, participate this uh, in this very important um, type of activity that we. Just a disclaimer, um, this quick chat might, you know, trigger some emotional factors. Because those emotional factors um, became our, ano eh, para motivation. I mean, yung, yung factors, I mean, those are not negative factors. Ha? Yes. Those are positive factors that made us, you know, really push hard and work hard as part of the LGBT community. Really cool. So, yun lang. Um, Kapag may mga luha-luha mamaya. <laughs> but they will make it fun. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is going to be fun. Ayan. Yeah. A, si Kay naman. Sorry, tatanayin ko lang bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating mga questions. A, what made you decide to join us? You know, A is a very, parang, ano siya, shy talaga siya eh. Yeah. Kahit dati pa, the, nung kahit na nag-start pa siya kay Kuno talaga, shy siya as a person. So, A, what made you decide to, you know, join us this afternoon? Um, yun ma'am, uh, isa na rito sa pagkakataon para may paalam sa iba kung ano yung meron sa LGBTQ. So kung ano yung, kung ano yung, kung ano kami bilang uh, mamamayan din. Yan. Yan lang ba? <laughs> Also, Camille, I want to um, also 
stress yung sabi mo kanina na we want to educate. Kasi um, even though the member, even the members of the LGBT, LGBTQIA community also need this learning venue. Na parang we are still in the process of making progress. Yes. So for, if there are some topics, definitely there are going to be some topics na medyo sensitive. But um, we are going to really learn from each other. And that's the essence of having this quick chat because even though we are part of one community, regardless if you're LGBTQIA, you're heterosexual, whatever, as one community, we still need to learn it. So, yun lang, guys. Um, educate, not hate. Yes, educate, <laughs> not hate. That's the hashtag for today. Yes. Yes, isa pa lang yung hashtag na yan. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I think ready na ating mga guests. Ready na rin kami. The team is also ready. So let us proceed with our first question for this afternoon. Our first question is, when did you first become familiar with the community or the LGBTQIA community? Well, bago ang lahat, gusto ko lang po kanunin, what is LGBTQIA? Actually, yung iba may plus plus pa, or merong LGBTQ plus lang. So, ano ba yung, sorry, ano ba yung makabang ano na yan? Kasi yung iba, hindi sila nang kalawin. Sir Gil, um, let's start with Sir Gil. Sir, bilang una ko po ng questions, ano ba muna yung mga letters na yun? <laughs> For the knowledge okay. of everyone. Actually, um, it has been, um, what do you call this, the journey of that uh, tagging has been long, and then there's a lot of history around it. Um, also, how and why we are celebrating Pride Month. But to specifically answer the question, um, it only stands for different types of or gender identification. So iba iba siya. It started with LGBT, which is the less uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, or transsexual, and then queer has been included. Um, I'm not really sure about uh, I. Um, and then the A as well has a different meaning. And then there's another plus plus. Yung A actually. Lately, ko lang na-realize that that stands for ally. And then, may pansexual pa na nadagdag. Actually, kulang pa siya ng tatlong letra. Dalawa yung Q na dyan eh. There's queer, and there is another one that stands for Q. Yun. So, madami siyang pinagdaanan na. It wasn't called as LGBTQ before. It was called as um uh, gay freedom or gay, gay march. Gay march, something like that. And then, eventually, naging gay pride. Hanggang sa include na lahat, uh, including what happened in Amsterdam and then sa New York, and then hanggang sa nabuo na siya na isang mahabang word. And then we came up with uh, celebrating the Pride Month. Yo. So it actually stands for gender identification of different type of people who belong to the third uh, third sex. There. So much the Alex. Based on our research also, um, parang along the way, habang tumatagal, talagang nadadagdagan ito. Yes. Na mas marami pang nakikita or nalalaman ng mga gender yes. classification. Na-unravel ng yes. mga feelings, emotions. That's why, sabi ko kanina, we are still in the process of progress. Kasi as we move along, may mga nabidiscover. Yeah. You know, and we cannot exclude them. Kasi it's all about inclusivity. Eh. That is yes. what is Pride Month for. Inclusivity na parang hindi po kasi may feeling mo you're excluded. So, yeah. Yes, so thank you so much, Sir Gil. Pero, of course, aside from that question na <laughs> pinag-explain ko sa'yo, what does that mean? This is our first question, but not so first. When did you first become familiar with the community? Kasi before, wala pa naman talaga sa farm, hindi pa siya sinisalibrate tama po pa. So, when did you become familiar with it? Sorry, was that the question for me? Y yes, Sir <laughs> Okay. All right. Actually, um, I know from the very beginning that I was gay, but uh, I didn't know that such organizations actually exist until such time. Um, I I met a a couple uh, in my previous workplace. Um, she came from my batch when we were hired, and uh, from that uh, from that um, organization. And then they told they just told me about it. And they, they told me about the Pride March, how it's being celebrated, and then I get to meet the person who's in charge. Up until now, we still have 
uh, contact with the people who actually uh, organized the celebration of Pride in the Philippines. Unfortunately, we were not able to celebrate it for the last two years na, uh, because, um, because of the pandemic. But uh, I think there are still a lot of activities happening um, through video conference. So when I learned about it like 10 years or maybe more than 10 years ago, and then I, I started... Um, I started educating myself on what is it all about, kung ano ba yung, ano ba talaga, para saan ba yung pride, para saan ba yung sinicelebrate, yun. Um, it was not something na alam ko na siya from the very beginning. So nalaman ko lang siya nung um, I was already working in the BPO industry. Doon na ko na-expose sa mga ganong activities, and then ano ba yung mga, uh, ano ba yung purpose uh, ng organization ng LGBTQ, and then what's Pride Month all about. Yeah. And then to also uh, add lang siguro din sa in-explain, no? yung Pride, diba, it's not really just about yung, you know, nagpa-parade. Kasi others, naka-join kasi kami sa parade before, but, you know, I'm not really sure if they know yung um, objective of the Pride Month. Parang yun, yeah. kasi parang, you know, parang nang makapag-outfit. That's why yeah, they're yeah. there. But they really don't know. So, Sir Gil, ano yung na-explain ba sa'yo nung, nung the first time you heard the community and the Pride? Uh, yeah. No, actually, um, yung gay pride kasi, uh, it all started, hindi naman siya dito sa Philippines. It started in uh, in the US and in Europe. So, as as we all know in our history, um, homosexuality is pretty much oppressed. And then it's... Uh, it's a criminal uh, offense. No one. It was in the year 1950s and 1960s. And then there were a few organizations actually that uh, created this drive para, um, para mabawasan yung discrimination. And then they are actually rallying for acceptance in gay community. So after that, hanggang sa, there was a huge event that happened. I'm not sure if everybody's aware of that, but uh, Pride actually started when... Um, there was a um, a violence that happened in 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 Stonewall Inn. It's called Stonewall. It's actually a recreational tavern in somewhere downtown Manhattan in New York. So nandoo nag-iipon ipon yung mga homosexuals before. That was 1969 when um, there was a riot that ex- uh, that happened. So parang ni raid yung uh, yung place na to. Nung ni raid siya, um, what happened there is nanlaban yung mga uh, yung mga members ng LGBT, lahat ng customers ng laban sila. Um, it's because they thought that they have not been treated fairly until such time hanggang sa kinabukasan, nag-start na silang mag-rally. So doon na buo yung Pride March. But we were calling that time, noong 1969, it was being called as um, uh, Gay March. Hindi siya Gay Pride. Gay March lang siya. It's a call for... Uh, liberation and freedom of gay society. And then eventually, hanggang sa taon-taon na siyang ginagawa, nag-change, um, come 1994, uh, they changed it to uh, to gay pride until we started celebrating Pride Month. So pride is actually as opposed to shame and, uh, shame and um, social uh, stigma about gay people. When I say gay people, that includes everyone within the homosexual society. So doon siya nag-start hanggang sa some presidents in the United States started calling and celebrating or officializing, especially uh, si Bill Clinton, in officialized niya na yung Pride Month, which is always at June. Sinundan din siya ni Barack Obama. Although um, Donald Trump actually did not officialize it, but he tweeted about it, that we should celebrate um, Pride Month during his time. So naging June din siya. And then right now, si... Si uh, Biden also declared it as an official Pride Month celebration for June 2021. So yun yung naging history niya. So sobrang bahaba yung pinagdaanan niya. But ang Pride talaga, we, it, it came up to that word, gay pride. It's because um, we wanted to celebrate, not because we wanted to celebrate being gay. It's actually a call for celebration of inclusion and diversity. Or diversity and inclusion, vice versa. So, yun yung pinaka-main objective niya. So, kaya siya pride because it's a word as opposed to uh, shame and um, social stigma na meron noon. 
way going back to 1950s up until now which is still uh, there are a few countries pa din na medyo hindi pa sila uh, ganun ka welcoming uh, pagdating sa pagdating sa uh, gay society kagaya ng I don't know Jamaica maybe I'm I'm not right but I've heard that there's a lot of um uh, criminal offenses pa because of being gay so yung mga ganun but right now it's still an ongoing process but uh, i think in the philippines it iba na eh, iba na yung ano in the us in uk in the philippines it's totally different now comparing it way back to the 1980s and 90s there so yun yun yung brief history <laughs> Ano ma'am, uh, recently lang talaga kasi ano eh, uh, nag-focus lang siguro ako sa kung ano yung, kung ano ako. Hindi ako medyo lumabas sa, sa mundo na ginaganawan ko. So kung baga, kung ano yung nararamdaman ko kung nagkakagusto ko sa babae, ganun lang, ganun lang kasimple. Pero hindi ako, nag, hindi ako ganun nagtanong kung bakit. So parang sinimplihan ko lang yung sitwasyon. Unti-unti ko lang inaalam kung ano ba talaga yung meron sa pagiging ganito. Kahit ako, kine-question ko rin yung sarili ko. Hindi uh, lang sa lalaki. Kasi para at least wala nang usapan, normal lang. Tapos, bakit ba sa babae talaga ako nagkakagusto? Dati kasi ang alam ko lang, pag once na yung babae nagkagusto sa babae, uh, lesbian siya. Pag yung lalaki nagkagusto sa kapwa lalaki, gay siya. So hindi maliwanag sa akin yung yung lumalabas ngayon na LGBTQ something that. Pero may mga question na kasi yung girlfriend ko tinatanong ko siya, lesbian ka ba since nagkakagusto ka kasi sa lesbian eh. So sabi niya hindi. Um malaking question ulit sa akin yon. Kung bakit hindi siya kung bakit para sa kanya hindi siya lesbian samantalang sa akin nagkakagusto siya. So yun yung mga tanong ko pa rin sa sarili ko. Kasi kung titignan ko rin yung girlfriend ko, babaeng babae talaga siya. Or in nagkakagusto rin naman siya sa lalaki. Ako kasi, uh, alam ko sa sarili ko, uh, nagkakakrush ako sa lalaki. Pero paghanga na kung saan, gagayahin ko siya. Hindi yung paghanga na parang gusto talaga. As in, pero alam ko, uh, usong lalaki talaga ako. Yun. So, yeah, yeah. when did you um uh, parang start na malaman na um yung preference mo yeah. is um yung same sex? Ano po, uh, pata pa lang ako talagang kilos lalaki na ako kasi halos lumaki ako kasama ko yung mga kuya ko. Ang mga laro ko talaga puro pan lalaki. Uh, minsan naglaro ako ng Barbie. Tuwan-tuwa yung tatay ko. Kasi humawak ako ng Barbie. Yun pala, sasagasaan ko lang pala yung Barbie ng trap. <laughs> Teka, parang harsh yung ano, story na yun. <laughs> Ayun, talagang ano, bata pa lang po. Pero bat, bata pa lang ako, nagkaka-crush na po ako sa babae. Pero hindi ko pa alam yung tawag sa ganun. Ma, medyo naging aware na lang ako nung, ano, siguro mga grade 5 ako. Okay. 
na parang ay hindi pala ako, uh, hindi normal yung nararamdaman ko. Hindi ko po siya tinago eh. Uh, talaga kung ano yung nararamdaman ko, ina-express ko lang sa, pali- sa, sa mga kasamahan ko, sa magulang ko, sa kapatid ko. Though sinasabi nila na pag ganyan yung kilos mo, dapat ganito. Pero ginagawa ko kung saan ako comfortable. Yun, yun, yung, yun yung sinundan ko. Tapos nung nasa high school na po ako, uh, syempre uso yung JS. So trinay ko magkakapan ng buhok. Baka sakaling doon, maramdaman ko rin. Nag, naging open din po ako sa manliligaw. Na, nagpaligaw rin naman ako para ma- matimbang. Para matimbang kung ano ba talaga, ano ba yung mas, uh, mas lamang. Yung pagiging, uh, yung nararamdaman ko sa babae o yung nararamdaman ko sa lalaki. So umabot ako sa point na sinagot ko yung guy. Pero hindi talaga. Hindi, hindi, yun, hindi ako masaya para kaibigan lang talaga. So, in-stop ko. Pinaliwanag ko rin naman dun sa guy na parang best friend lang talaga tayo. Uh, hanggang dito lang talaga. Trinay ko naman, pero wala talaga ako nakaramdaman. Hindi, hindi ganun kasaya. Yun. Thank you so much, Dave. No? I think napaka-importante din yung support system. Yes. Kasi kahit na hindi naman yung nakikita mo sa parentals, Siyempre, hindi nila na-experience whatever we are experiencing now. Kaya medyo marami din silang tanong. So, kami, mas nag-open up kami sa kung compared sa kanila. Because, you know, mas natatanggap kami doon uh, sa circle na yun. Um, I mean, hindi naman sa, sa family ko gano'n. But majority of us, gano'n kasi yung may experience. Oh. Actually, Filipino families, they are not Filipino families. They're quite traditional uh-huh. with the idea of LGBTQIP. Kaya, we, we, we don't blame them that they are not aware, but we just hope that they are going to be more open, open because yes. we are moving forward. Yes. We are not moving backwards. Yes. And that is why we are having this event also. Mm-hmm. Yung mga ganitong events para, you know, to educate not only, of course, yung mga employees natin, but also, para ma-share din nila sa mga families nila na, you know, may natutunan ako na dapat pala you have to be good in. Okay. And syempre, hindi naman, dadating yung panahon na magiging magulang tayong lahat na, you know, we're gonna have a kid and we have to accept what they are or who they are. So, dito ang tinuti tayo na dito. Walang sabay sa yes. which is very, very good. Ayan. So, hey, thank you so much for sharing that um, experience of yours. So, of course, siyempre, unang question pa lang yan, ha? pero sobrang dami natin. Dami na. Oo, kasagutan, pero we're really having fun. Kamusta naman ang ating audience, ang ating viewers? Are they having fun? Are they having fun? Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Uh, I, I just want to add something on community. Well, Kasi parang sa community namin, may mga iba na takot mag-out. So we are not forcing them. Na parang we are waiting for them to be more ready. Huwag ka lang sila mag-come out. And same with those people who are not yet open. So as of now, if you are not accepting, just learn and try to absorb where we are coming from. We are not pushing you to accept us right now, but at least, you know, learn about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Charlie. Sister Charlie naman, siguro, before we proceed to adding next question. Mm-hmm. Sir Char, when did you first um, um, become parang knowledgeable about or familiar with the LGBTQ uh-huh. community? 
Wait, itlog pa lang yata ako. <laughs> Joke ka. Papunta pa lang sa reception. Nakalipong na pala. Nakabongga na. Ganun. Oh, ganun. <laughs> no, um, actually, kung bata ako, um, it, it's, maari sa amin unconventional way of becoming gay. Kasi yun nga, parang the traditional way of knowing someone, if they are gay, is that yung mga gamit nila pang babae, yung laman nila pang babae. Whereas ako kasi, well, yung pinanganak ako, they, they, my, my parents um, thought that I'm gonna be the girl kasi hindi talaga sila nagkawag na sa amin. Parang they wanted to be a surprise, so they are hoping for a girl. Pero nung lumabas at may, you know, girl yan, eh parang okay, sige, um, it's a guy. Pero growing up, pinahapag talaga nila yung hair po. Like parang girl talaga. Oh, oh, this is what they expected, okay. and that's what they wanted. Okay. So, parang unti-unti, hindi ko doon pa lang, they, they had this acceptance na baka pag ako because that's how they wanted me to be. So, yun nga, parang pinahabi na buong po. And then when I started schooling, pinagpunti ko rin here because bawal ko sa school. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, again, traditional way, they, they were not open before with the idea of a GDPRA even as, as uh, of a young age. So, nagdalaw ako, it's mga lawan ko before, hindi party eh, robot, power ranger, as in, lalaki. So, hindi, hindi siguro nila inakala na I'm gonna be like this because yung bata ako, hindi ako nag-manifest with the toys that I play. And then, apparently, growing up, yun yung mga boy band, Spice Girls, Britney Spears, ganyan. Ito yung official like manifest, but okay, as, as a young one, hindi ako aware of the you know, sexuality and gender. Uh, Basta ako, alam yung, yung feeling ko, alam yung gusto kong gawin, that's what I do, yeah. Until nung mag high school ako, I had a girlfriend, and, um, ano ko share? Tapos ako, ano, hindi kailangan sensor na mga po ba? Uh, may sleep. Para sa technology. And, uh, so we, we almost did it, but hindi talaga. I mean, I felt na it's not for me. That was for the fourth year high school going to first year college. And then first year college, dun lang talaga ako nag-open. And, and dun ko din experience yung LGBT ko eh, because college or university is like a larger scale of, you know, area for you to learn. So, doon lang din ako na, na, na educate about the community itself. Mm-hmm. So, medyo, I'm not really late bloomer, pero alam ko na nung early, early years na medyo soft na ako, medyo sa Westlife, crush ka sa ganito. But, hindi ko siya inaari until I really feel it, parang ako, ito na kami. You had a relationship before? Yes. Siya parang nag-deter na, oops. Yes. I'm not really into this. Yes. Yun. Kailangan pala may ma-experience. Though, though, like si A, parang na-experience na po kasi mm-hmm. muna, parang bago siya talaga na ito, hindi ko na sabi niyo sa sarili niya na, this is really me. Okay. Yun. So, bagay, kailangan ma-experience. Experience, no? yes. So, kanina pa ako may hawak dito na, no, na paper. <laughs> Let's just read, of course, the first chat muna. Um, um this is, uh, this question is from Miss Josette. Hi, Miss J. Ayan, Miss Josette is watching right now. Hi, Miss J. Ayan, so, Ang question sa atin ni Ms. Ray is, how can parents be more supportive of LGBTQIA plus children if they mm-hmm. have a, a a child na member of, or yung mm-hmm. nakakapili ko, just like what you yeah. have experienced before, mm-hmm. ano po ba yung, um, what can they do, the parents? What, mm-hmm. can, what can the parents do para mas maging supportive sila? Mm-hmm. Sige, simulan natin si Sir Gil naman. Yes. Sir Gil! Um, what can you say or what can you share with our parents? Paano ba sila mas magiging supportive sa tingin niyo? Yeah, um that's actually a very tough question for me to answer. Um first, as I'm not uh, a parent yet, but understanding the core of how can we be successful uh, or the main objective of 
um, having this type of conversation of the social events that we have um, promoting gay society or the LGBTQ and uh, Pride Month. I think there are only three factors for me in my own opinion that needs to be applied in all aspects of life from the smallest unit of our society up to everyone. Um, I consider it um, first is uh, listen, learn, and support. So those three things are very much important to me um, and it's applicable to anything or to anyone. It's because you wouldn't understand what is happening if you don't know how to listen. And you wouldn't be able to address what is going on if you are not learning or if you are not aware about it. And the thing is, the last one is, you have to always put your love first towards the person. That is, uh, for example, if you're considering um, someone that's very important to you, um, you have to first identify ano ba yung mas importante, yung love or yung sarili mo. It's because, uh, I'm saying this because I, I think for, for parents kasi, it's important for them to listen to their uh, to their children all the time. Kasi doon sila makaka-capture kung ano yung dapat nilang matutunan or para maging aware sila kung ano yung mangyayari. And then, the support kasi goes along with love. Because hindi natin may alis. Of all, all of our parents actually have that unthinkable love for their children. Diba? ba? So, kapag yun kasi ang inuna natin, support always follows. Hindi malayong susuportahan ka ng pamilya mo or ng magulang mo kung, alam mo yun, kung nauuna, laging nauunang isipin ang love. Ganon, yun, that's, that's how, um, I, uh, that's how I am actually, um, I'm actually looking at it. Uh, it's in my own perspective. Kasi I did have that struggle na I was not really, uh, I wasn't, fully accepted by my parents because of my uh, gender identity. They are not, uh, my mom was not really familiar with with gay people because they never had in their family. Unlike my dad, um, he's very aware because he has cousins who are gays. And um, I was an, I was a, um, I was a mama's boy. And then my mom doesn't understand it until I, I slowly thought what it was, what I'm experiencing. I kept talking to her. Uh, alam mo yung pinaka number one that I, I look up to my mom, kung paano niya naintindihan, and then how she was able to fully accept what I'm going through and what I really am. Um, she was allowing me to be authentic in front of her. It's like she hasn't have that boundaries. Um, kumbaga parang, lagi niya pinapaalala sa akin, whatever is going on or is happening to you, just be authentic in front of me and I'll listen and hopefully I'll learn from it and then I'll be supporting you, whatever it is. So, yun yung naging, ano, yun yung naging um, core ko in understanding this community, this society, which I have been applying in any walks of life or in any um, anything that I do. Uh, being a leader, being a person in our community, in our society, yung ganon in my uh, with my friends, sa lahat. So ina apply ko siya sa lahat. So if anything is going on, I always take time to listen. I always take time to learn and be aware, and then afterwards I support them if uh, that's what they need. There. Thank you. Yan, parang since they, since I was young, um, alam na kasi nila siguro na maging ganito ko because nahabat yung buhok ko ganyan. So it wasn't really that hard for me. Na parang, I also want to share this. Na parang, I also want to empathy to those who really had a hard time coming out. Kasi some, some of us, it's, it was an easier way for us to come out because the parents are already you know, supported, yes, uh-huh. even at a very young age. And, yun nga, na parang, and that's the reason why people are very afraid to come out is because of family, because they think it's not love. Kaya nga, di ba, pagka-pride, always slogan is love wins. Yes, uh-huh. 
So I have to um, appreciate Gil saying that because big love really conquers all. So we would be just loving and we just, you know, um, we knew from, you know, from the very beginning that probably magin din po siya. Pero they never had, uh, of course, they had this, ano, parang kata pa kang pwede pa, ganyan. Yes. Pero hindi naman sila nag-imply na sana ganito, sana maganito ka. They never implied that. They just had, they, they just had to, you know, let it come from me. They didn't ask, they did not push. Just so happened. Parang, like, kasi yung meeting boyfriend ko before. <laughs> so, dun pala nalaman. Yeah. So, parang, they had the hint already na, ah, ito na yun. And then they had to ask me, while I was doing my assignment, parang, are you gay? And then, I told them, yes, I am. Yung kanina nakita nyo, that, that, that was my boyfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, sabi nila, well, ano po naman na, pinahaba namin yung book mo, so we're not surprised. You know? Ah, okay. So, <laughs> Sign kasi ano eh, uh, base experience ko. Tingin ko inobserbahan lang nila ako. Inobserbahan nila ako sa bawat kilos ko. Wala naman akong narinig sa kanila na ganto ka ba. So, nakasupport lang sila. Kung gusto ko nung panlalaking suot, andun lang din. Kasi halos sa, sa part nila parang madali lang dahil isang bilihan na lang dahil nga puro kuya ko yung kasama ko. Then, uh, Hindi naman kasi, hindi naman po kasi ako nahirapan sa family ko pagdating dito sa kung ano yung meron ako. Kaya siguro ganun lang din ako kasimple sa ngayon. Wala akong ganang hinahangad, wala akong ganang maliban doon sa mga ibang question lang na saan ba ako parte ng LGBTQ. Parang ganun. Kasi hindi pa rin po talaga sa akin malinaw. Uh, katulad ngayon, nag-transform uh, ako into uh, from lesbian na, na mahalata pa rin na parang uh less than ka sa sa ginawa ko ngayon na nagpa, nagpa-inject ako ng testosterone na talagang halos mapapagkamalan na ako nalaki. So um hindi ko alam kung saan part ako ng LGBTQ. Yon. Pero pagdating sa family kasi uh, ano eh, naramdaman ko naman na suportado nila ako and wala namang nag-question sa akin sa kung ano yung ano yung ano ako ngayon. Parang swerte pa rin. <laughs> A, with your uh, additional transition, A, with your transition right now, um, paano nag-react yung parents mo about? Um, pag, uh, did they ask you ba mo na parang before ka talaga mag-transition? Mm. Did they stop you ba? Or tinanong ka ba mo na nila? Kasi syempre, di ba? It's a big step eh, yes. from transitioning to uh, to being a trans man. Um, actually ma'am, ano eh, uh, 2014 pa lang pinag-iisipan ko na kung gagawin ko to. And then hanggang sa nakapag-desisyon ako ng 2018. So halos taon talaga yung binilang kasi um, ang advice din kasi ng doktor, talagang malaki yung pag- magiging pagbabago, talagang maram- ma- uh, magre-risk din yung, yung health. 
So, in-inform ko rin naman yung family na gano'n yung mangyayari. Pero sabi nila, basta sigurado kung hindi ka magkakasakit, sige. Pero kung yan yung mag-trigger na para mawala ka sa amin, huwag mo nang ituloy. So, kaya umabot ng halos apat na taon bago po na pag Kasi, nalang po pa po kung ano talaga yung magiging epekto niya sa katawan ko, kung magkakasakit po ba ako. So, since uh, meron naman pong maintenance, meron naman pong amount kung ano yung mga kailangan i-inject, kaya naging panatag po. Tsaka tiwala po ako dun sa doktor na pinapag-check. Parang sa tinia, sa PTYA, may ano pa yan, may subcategory pa yan. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, ha? May tinatang silang pre-off and post-off? Yes, po, opo. Actually, sir, uh, nag-undergo pa po ng ano, ng, uh, yung tinatawag na psychological. Mm. Opo. Kasi um, pag once na pinasok mo kasi hindi mo na siya pwedeng ihinto, lifetime na po kasi yung pag i -injet. That's right. So, kaya parang tatanungin ka kung ano ba yung dahilan, bakit uh, gusto mong mag-transform into uh, sa ganito. So, sinabi ko, kasi kalimitan sa mga katulad namin, lalo na kapag kasama yung girlfriend, nababastos kasi talaga. Uh, ay ayun yung simpleng naglalakad ka lang sa daan. Um, andun yung may pipito, andun yung may kakanta. Kalimitan, mararamdaman mo talaga na nababastos. Na parang hindi ka bagay dyan, dapat dito ah. So, ang tendency, uh, nakakapang-init ng ulo. Pero syempre, hindi mo kailangang awayin kasi kasama mo yung girlfriend mo. Pero ngayon kasi hindi ko na nararamdaman yun. Simula nang nagpa-inject ako. Every time na naglalakad kami ng girlfriend ko sa daan, sa mall, makikita mo yung respeto ng lalaki. Siguro may ganun sila na kapag kasama nila yung girlfriend nila, lalaki sa lalaki, iniiwasan nilang tumingin. Hindi ka tulad kapag ang nakita nila, yung babae kasama ay lesbian, talagang mang babanas pa, mga asar pa. So yun yung advantage din kung bakit mas nag-trigger ako na magpa, magpa-inject. Para respeto na rin sa kasama kong babae. Yan. Yes. Mas maging aware kung how is it like yung yung ganong journey. Yeah. Kasi syempre kami, ako as a per, uh, personally, ang alam ko lang kasi syempre yung, like, you know, the lesbian thing, kasi sila lang mostly mas nakaka-interact ko. Pero, you know, with Ace, yung uh, experience na sinare niya sa atin, parang masusokas yung palaman sila. Mas maintindihan pa sila. Kasi, you know, iba pala yung transition, yeah, transition ng mga trans natin. Mm. Iba pala siya from just mga lesbian people. Yeah. Because they had to really transition to becoming someone. Parang kami kasi may have accepted with the love, ganyan. Sila kasi they need to achieve a particular like goal for them to really feel who they are, ganyan. And we appreciate you kasi we hope that a lot of people are like on you because, you know, again, it's learning, educating, yeah. diba? Yeah. And that's what we need right now for people to know where the community comes from, where it originated, where it's standing, and where we want to be in the future. Yes. So, so, ayun pala. Um, so, I think we can already move on to the next question. No? Pero ayun, um, I would also like to um, thank you, Sabre. Ngayon pa lang si Sir Char and si Sir Gil and si A for, you know, sharing your experiences. Kasi I know it's on a personal level, mm -hmm. mga question na, questions natin, but you know, you're very open to everyone. Mm -hmm. So, we do hope na marami na ating viewers, and mas marami pang pumasok ng mga viewers para mas marami sila matulang at hindi lang tayo yun know, para marami tayo ma yeah. It's very important kasi. Okay, next question tayo para mag move, move, move forward tayo dyan. Okay, ito na. Ito na pala. Ah, ito na pala yun. Medyo dun sa aking sinabi kanina, related na siya. Um, how do uh, I make myself more approachable to people who are part of the LGBT community? Kasi, diba, there are some um, na parang, you know, the way they look pa lang, parang nahihiya na agad or nagbabak out na yung mga LGBT plus. Kasi parang na silang, parang judger na agad ang dating. Parang they're judging you already. But yun pala, they're just shy. They don't know how to address yung mga um, members ng community. Kasi nga, What baka, yes, yeah. baka po kasi ma-offend agad. Unang salita pa lang nila, offensive na. So, 
ano po ba ang isang um, ally? Let's call them ally already. Para naman support agad sila. Paano po ba dapat sila mag act in order for the LGBT community um, parang feel na approachable dito? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, kasi especially for gay people, mga queer, they don't read mind if they call them Mr. or Miss. Mm-hmm. But for those who are transitioning, uh-huh. um, of course, kung ano yung feelings sa sarili nila, that's what they have to call them. Uh, Mr. Miss. And also, parang uh, they, there's what we call, kasi hindi naman na part of the trans community. Uh-huh. No? Yung dead name, there's a dead name that we call it. Uh, like, of course, when you transition, you change your name. Mm, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And that's what we have to address then. What yung name na pinili nila. Mm. So, uh, if your name is Penelope, then you call them Penelope, then not, not with their old name. So, again, it's a mahaba siyang <laughs> um, discussion. Uh-oh. But for 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 the sake of answering the question, um, how would I used to call you if they um, tell you their name? That's what we need to call them. Like, kunare alam mo kung ano yung niya talaga, but you're gonna ask them paano ba? So kung ano yung sinabi ng name nila, then that's what we need to address. Sir, sir, Gil, naman siguro in a workplace setup naman, since you've been with other companies as well, the the, the bigger of course than Kuro, and Siyempre, iba yung, 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 um, tawag ito, yung workplace, yung environment is different. So, sa, based on your experience, how do you, like, um, how can you say na ang isang tao ay approachable, especially if iba-iba, parang it's a mix of different, yeah. you know, yung outfits nila, ganyan. So, paano nyo po masasabi na they're approachable in terms of, paano sila? Um, yeah, actually, the, the question is, very difficult to answer no? because I cannot uh, I cannot be on somebody else's shoes or speaking for themselves because lahat naman tayo may kanya-kanya tayong character we grew up in different environment so um, depende talaga yun sa tao pero the more that you are educated and aware of what is happening or what LGBTQ is all about I think that would make you understand um, any type of gender or kahit anong gender identity na lumapit sa'yo. So, kaya unang mga nagiging um, actions when it comes to uh, uh, to this drive is um, maximizing awareness. Kasi, for example, if you're gonna approach an old person who's very conservative and you acted like so gay and then you are like dress up on, um, uh, on an opposite way, that, that person doesn't know, uh, that person doesn't know about LGBTQ he wouldn't understand what's going on. So it would actually make him aloof uh, to talk to you, or it can be a different expression that you wouldn't like if you are the gay person. <laughs> yung, yung term ko na gay person, but please don't mind that. Um, yung, alam mo yun, so iba-iba kasi siya eh. So that's why we are, we are um, challenging diversity in this type of, uh, in this type of um, events. Kasi, para ma-maximize din yung awareness. Kasi we cannot, we cannot expect everybody to do the same. Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng expect ng yung lola mo magiging same yung appreciation ng tita mo because they are in different age or they have an age gap, diba? Or generation gap. And then the people naman or yung mga, let's say, the, the priests in our society or the pastors, you wouldn't expect them to be, you know, to be accepting uh, as similar to those people working in the BPO company because they have a different environment they grew up with and have been educated differently. So understanding uh, comes with awareness first. As long as they're properly educated about who LGBTQ is, and then I don't think there will be any problem at all for everyone to be approachable. Kasi ako, I can always say I'm an approachable person in general because I'm a people person since I have been trained. Diba, my skill set is uh, towards this um, people management because I have been in this type of business. So, madali para sa akin maging magmukhang approachable. Kung baga parang it's a natural thing for me. But what about those people that doesn't have the same training, doesn't have the same environment? It will be different from them. So, it's not only uh, it's not only the LGBTQ asking for everyone to understand us. We also have to 
provide similar level of respect and understanding to everyone. So, hindi pwedeng kakabig lang kami ng kakabig. Kailangan, meron ding education na magaganap. Diba? So, it doesn't come with ano eh, one package. It's always a two-way package. Yun. There. So, uh, ang maging, ang, ang, uh, ang, ang approach ko doon, if I will be the, 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 the gay one, let's say the scenario was, it's an old person who's very conservative and it's the first time I'm going to approach him. Siyempre, hindi ako magpapakita ng kagaslawan. Or something that the person will not understand. Diba? Kasi I wanted to show that respect similar to the respect that I wanted to get from that person. That's diversity. And that's equality. Yeah. So, Master Diaz, so since we're going to have this third party kanina also, since we are still in the process of, you know, um, having everyone aware of the community. Um, syempre, hindi lang, syempre yung ating LGBT community also, silang meron din silang, parang may responsibility din yes. sila para, pare, pare both sides. Yes. Pare ko na, maganda yung approach nila yeah. yung dalawa. May hindi pwede nito may sinusulong namin. You have yes. to understand it, you have to understand it, you have to learn it. There should also be something for us to do. Yes. As a community na these people, of course, Hey, hey, hindi sila, hindi sila tayo or hindi sila kami so they won't understand and that's where mutual uh, understanding comes yes. uh-huh. diba? so yeah so si A naman with, with, in relation to this question A um, meron ka na bang na experience na um, parang not part of the LGBT community na in-approach ka differently because of how you are and how uh-huh. you handle Ah uh, yes, opo, maraming maraming beses na. Ah uh, naiilang sila. Hindi nila alam kung paano nila sisimulan, kung paano kanila i-address 'yon. 'Yun yung mga na-experience ko. Lalo na kapag nasa public, yung yung CCR ka lang sa sa mall. So isa na 'yan sa pinaka uh, challenges kung paano ba ako i-approach ng mga naglilinis doon na parang sasabi nila na hindi ka pwede dito yung mga ganong simpleng sitwasyon. So ako medyo uh, nakaka-atras na lang ako na parang wait, uh, paano ko ba ipapaliwanag na dito ako sa CR na to. Yun, yun yung mga isa sa mga na-experience ko. Na, sa mga taong uh, hindi aware na na, na lesbian ako. Yun. Um, mm-hmm. that also, no, dahil hindi pa talaga to equip ang lahat ng mga organizations with the concerning agent na na PR, wala pa tayong all gender restroom, yeah. eh, hindi pa tayo lahat to equip that, but you know, it's yeah. It's something that we can also take note of, yes. di ba? Na pang reconsider, and, and not just neglecting the idea. Yes. Uh-huh. So to everyone who's part of the uh, organization, um, we're, we're going to get there. Yeah, yeah. Tayo, we're getting there. Naman. No? So, okay, so thank you so much for those answers. So I think we are up to our next question. So we're going to have questions, natin, but you know, we're going to be um, cutting off a few. Para naman, since we have a lot of things to tackle, I think we're going to cover the other questions. Yeah. No? So next question would be, Ato, uh, this is very, um, parang isa to sa mga topics talaga na highlight for this afternoon. Why do you think LGBTQ plus inclusion is important in the workplace? Um, since I believe um, here in Puerto Tecnica naman, since we are, of course, celebrating Pride, I think we are, you know, this is very important to us. Inclusivity and diversity is important to work. But as a member of the community, how can you say na important na talaga itong inclusion? Hindi lang sa pag- Okay, so Sir Charlie, for you, um, what do you think um, in the work that is very important? Uh, with uh, a simple uh, phrase for me saying that we are a free man, so we are free to express our opinions. As long as it's respectful, hindi ka nakatakot ng tao. Kasi yun nga, na parang if you are free to express yourself regardless kung anong paraan, because that's who you are. It's very important because you don't want to contain yourself 
from a place where you can call it your second home. Diba? So, and, it's, and, and we are very lucky that Kuru Tech is, you know, um, doing an inclusion of the LGBTQIA community. Because that's just how we are here. Diba? Yes, ever so, since the man. Yeah, actually, ever since. Even before pa, 2012, pa, 2012, I never felt the difference, I never felt, you know, um, people questioning sexuality and stuff. Everybody's just so open. So I'm just, we're just very thankful that this is the culture that we have right now. So it's, you know, it's very important because, again, Shepard, if you are being suppressed, your creativity will be suppressed, yes. your ideas will be suppressed. How, how are you going to function? Diba? Parang robot ka na lang. You're not even a human if, if that happens. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that is one of the reasons why it is really important. Siguro, I will be asking one more for, from, from this question. Si Sir Gil, of course. Since Sir Gil is part of the operations group. Sir Gil, how do you think it, this is, inclusion is very important, especially sa ating mga employees uh, na. Operations of small oh, scope. Mas malaki yung scope. Marami silang uh, nakakasalubuhay. Hindi lang yung mga tao sa organic yeah. Why do you think, Sir, this is important Yeah, it's actually very important. Um, one of the things that I have told about uh, the company, Kurotech, um, has been always into diversity. And uh, I really love that fact about the company. Um, the reason why I said it was important, or it is very important, it's because uh, in the BPO industry, um, hindi kasi natin may iwasan ng pressure, stress level, it impacts our um, emotional and mental health, diba? And we don't want to add up to that. Um, knowing that in the BPO industry, madami dyan ang part uh, ang LGBTQ+. So, importante that we keep a healthy uh, mentality, um, a healthy working environment. So, oppressing LGBTQ is not actually going to help it. So, that's why it's very important. Not only LGBTQ, but everyone. We have to promote creativity and increase their skills and knowledge, and we won't be able to do that without inclusion. Thank you so much, Sir Gil. So, the more na nakikin na mga employees natin na very supportive of organization, the more na mas mag-support. Not actually the word inclusion, but it's the word empowerment itself. Empowerment as a human being, empowerment as human of regardless of where you think about it. Yeah, in, in, in our industry, because we don't look at the gender. Eh? Yes. We look at the, even in uh, in the profession, we don't look at the profession itself. Diba? Ganun tayo ka diverse. Eh? So we look at the skill of the person. Yun yung mas importante. So that's why um, inclusivity is really important in our industry. Thank you so much, Ricard, and for that question. Uh, that answer. Uh, so we have another question. So I think we can now proceed to the next. Okay, I think this is the last. Dahil ito ang isa sa pinakamagandang question natin for this afternoon. No? So we will be um, asking all of our guests for this question. Okay, our question would be, how will you, as part of the LGBT community, how will you promote love and compassion to the community? Okay, um, siguro si A, um, this is our question. How will you promote love and compassion to the LGBT community? Kasi tulad na sabi kanina ni Sir Charlie, yung iba nga na nasa community itself, they're not really that familiar with the... Uh, May parang kulang pa silang... Maraming pang kailangan. Matutunan. Yes. Yeah. So A, what, what can you say about this? And what's your answer? Um, siguro ma'am, ano, uh, kailangan lang uh, mainig lang tsaka support. Kasi uh, sabi nga natin yung sa LGBT community, may iba't ibang experience yan eh, sa pagkatao nila. Yung iba, yung iba naman talagang nagtatabo pa. So ang kailangan lang doon, uh, dapat meron lang makinig, 
meron lang na kung saan maramdaman lang nila na may nakikinig sa kanila kung ano sila. And then sa pakikinig na yon nandun yung suporta, ah, tsaka yung respect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abe, for that um, wonderful answer, Lord. Okay, so <laughs> Well, I think for everyone, um, we will we'll have to be uh, role models uh, of kindness and inclusion. I think that's one. Second is, um, gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, we have to be, or we have to encourage everybody to be authentic in front of us. That actually would help everyone builds confidence and inclusivity, right? And then the third one is, um, in general, everyone should create a safe place for everybody. That's that's what I thought. Because um, if if someone if someone feels that they are safe, uh, for example, in the company, if they're safe in the company, if they're included. There's a safe place for them. When I say safe place, um, one good example is that uh, kapag ka um, this is this is ano ah, this is uh, I, I wanted to put it on a generic perspective. Uh, kapag ka kagaya ng topic kanina, when when you go to a washroom or to a comfort room, there are times na kakaroon ng issues, merong uh, discomfort mga ganyan. Yung iba hindi nila gusto, yung iba okay lang sa kanila, yung mga ganyan. So that doesn't create a safe place for LGBTQ, diba? So you won't be able to promote love and compassion, diba? But if there will be, um, meron silang place where they can do their thing, privately, and then they feel uh, safe and will not be discriminated on that area, that is one thing of creating a safe place. Another example is doing this type of event is actually a safe place for everybody like us. It's because um, we are celebrating differences. And a difference being celebrated made me feel safe that uh, there's a lot of people who understand me and my work. And I know that it's going to be good, right? So, yun yung mga type of samples na mga, uh, na sinasabi ko na safe place for, for the LG. And through that, it actually gives me, or same way with the rest, uh, an impression that we're promoting compassion, we're promoting kindness, we're promoting love, diba? and we're promoting inclusivity and diversity. Regardless uh, kung saan man yan, sa workplace man yan, sa labas, or within our circle of um, social gatherings, mga ganyan. That's, that's what I thought of that uh, question. Thank you so much, Dr. Kiri. You know, since ngayon, we all know that the same place, not just the organization, even the small spaces in the office, it can also be called a safe space for our community. Mm -hmm. no? So, marami talaga tayong dapat pang malaman. No? Ayun, Sir Charlie naman, of course. Sir Charlie, how can you promote naman mm -hmm. love and compassion to the community? Well, first of all, we cannot promote, we cannot ask people to promote love if it's not coming from you. So first is you know, first you have to love yourself, and um, as part of LGBTQIA community, we also have to promote understanding, respect, because that's what um, equality stands for. It. It's not just about kami sinusulong natin yung rights namin ganyan, but also understanding where the other person is coming from and making them understand why you're doing this, so that they can also understand. Uh, in return. So, I think um, Kate and Gail were able to cover everything. But just always remember, guys, love wins. Okay, love wins, guys. It's all about first thing, love. Yeah. Yes. It's not really about the gender. Pag yeah. love, love, na love yan. Talaga it doesn't siya. really matter if ano pa, ano ka as a person. Love is love. Yes, naman. love is love. But, yeah, bago tayo magtapos for this event, thank you so much for our guest this afternoon. But since ang event natin ay kitawag na The Rainbow Project, and we have this slogan na we, I am proud, I belong, since, you know, we are promoting inclusivity and diversity in the world.
this, how can you say that as part of the LGBT group, you are proud, you are free, and you belong here in Pure Technica as, you know, an employee of Pure Tech who is part of the LGBT group? Okay. Actually, um, I would like to promote something. Since okay. we all have that hashtag, why don't you create like a Facebook post day using the hashtag? Okay. And um, so as a winner, uh, you may need to explain for us. Um, no, naman, not really po. Siguro, uh, the way lang, siguro, siguro kung paano lang nila i-express uh, na talagang uh, they're free or uh, they're proud of who they are and what they uh, are here in the organ. Yeah. yeah. So, siguro, if you're going to post on Facebook or Instagram, Facebook na lang, pamas madali. Yes. Isang <laughs> channel na lang. Facebook na lang. Um, like, how it is to be an LGBTQIA here in Puro Tech using the logo, uh, the slogan or the hashtag yes. that Camille uh, mentioned to you. Uh, post it, and then I'm gonna pick two winner, two winners. Wow! Who will receive um, a pride uh, merch from one of my favorite makeup brands? Which is Colorant Cosmetics. Colorant Cosmetics. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is ano ha? We, we didn't expect this actually from Sir Charlie. Talagang this is a surprise. So yeah. I hope na marami pa join because you know Sir Charlie. I think kulang pa kasi talaga rin ng mm -hmm. Um, recognition of that community. So I think this is now the time to do, you know, not maybe come out, but you know, to show your support as part of the community. Yes. In Kuro. In Kuro, of course. Kuro, ayan. So again, thank you so much, Richard. But how thank can you. you say that? Ikaw, as a, as here, as an employee of Kuro, and as part of the LGBT community, how can you say that you are free, you are proud, and that you really belong here? Because everybody can tell, I mean, everybody tells me that I am Puro Tech. Wow! Iba yun ah, hashtag pa, hashtag na rin yata, I am Puro Tech. So regardless of who we are, they allow us to say that I am Puro Tech. Okay, so A, ikaw naman, how can you say that you are free, you are proud, and you belong to Puro Tech? Sorry ma'am. Alam mo ka mag-again po. A, how can you say that you are free, you are proud, and that you belong in Puro Technica as, you know, as part of the LGBT community na Puro Partica? Kasi, um, actually, uh, masaya ako kasi pinagkatiwalaan ako ng Puro Technica na kahit uh, part ako ng LGBTQ, um, pinili nila ako na makapagturo, maging trainer, Wherein, uh, iba kasi kapag ganun eh, uh, humaharap ka sa iba't ibang klase ng, ng training, merong matanda, merong bata, meron talagang mararamdaman mo na against sila sa LG, LGBTQ. So, naging challenge sa akin yun na harapin yung ganung pagkakataon na, na pinagkatiwala sa akin ng puro teknika. Okay, so I think one, one important word na nasabi ni T.A. doon is yung trust. Trust na nabigay niya. That's why na-feel niya na free siya and na-feel niya na belong siya dito sa organization because of trust that was given. Okay. Si Sir Gil naman. Sir Gil, <laughs> naman, sa initial mo pa lang na sagot ka nila na, you know, una pa lang yung feel really belong and that you are proud to be part of the organization. Pero how can you say that you are free and you are proud and that you belong here in yeah, um, actually for me, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I never had an issue about being free myself and being proud of who I am and then belonging to an organization. It has not been an issue for me because from the beginning, pala, assigning me to a very important role is actually a big thing right, for an organization. So I have not, I'm lucky enough to have not felt um, discriminated or ex uh, excluded in anything because I am always heard uh, my opinions matter, uh, my decisions matter, and then at the same time, um, freedom uh, to express what I wanted to do in my campaigns, in my programs, and uh, acknowledging my accomplishments, my achievements. Uh, that's one thing, or a, the very important part, actually. So I really never had that issue uh, with with Purutech. So I am grateful and happy about it. Okay. 
So gaya nga, going back to what I said earlier, one of the things that I look up uh, with this company is the diversity that we have. So regardless of your uh, profession, your your educational background, your gender identity, it is not a question in core tech. Your skills actually what matters most. Thank you so much for Here in Quarter Tech, you matter. No matter, you matter, no matter who you are. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> there. Yes. So, ayun, thank you so much. But I think we have shout out to Master yes. Star. Um, shout out to the management team. Hello, oh. Sir Jeff. Hello, Sir Alex. Hello, boy. You're watching. Thank you so much po for supporting us. And of course, for supporting the LGBTQ plus community yes. since the beginning, no? Yes. Talagang very, very supportive talaga mm -hmm. sila po sa community. Mo. That's right. Actually, para sila pa nga yung minsan sobrang full out when it comes to supporting LGBTQIA community. Not actually minsan. Actually, Lame. pati. They oh. empower. They empower people regardless of who they are. And, yun nga, that's the reason why inclusivity here in Coro Technica is not a challenge at I mean, it's something that we celebrate. Yes, this is something Agreed. that we celebrate. Yes. We actually hindi pa pala promote eh, Kasi mm -hmm. we already have inclusivity and diversity in the work. Yes. It's just that kulang pa. Siguro, kailangan lang talagang i-push para lahat po talaga is, you mm -hmm. know, makasama na talaga mm -hmm. natin. Hopefully, after, you know, our global turmoil. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Nahima tayo. Wow! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> our, our, I love the term. Against, you know, we'd be able to, you know, actually, parang isinasalibate na natin ng Pride Month dito, eh, diba? Yes, Remember, exactly. nagpapapadging yes. and stuff. Yeah. And hopefully, after all of this, we go back to how it was and better, diba? Mm -hmm. Since we're gonna go back to, you know, being normal again. Yeah. yeah. And also, siguro may share ko na din sa ating mga viewers ko, no? Since, um, we've been doing this for a lot of times already, but um, since nga because of the ngayon LGBTQ plus month or Pride month, syempre nakapag-join din kami ng mga ibang events about the community, yung awareness and yeah. other stuff. And nalaman namin na yung ibang organizations is nagsustart pa lang on mm -hmm. this journey, which is very proud of us, your tech employee, dahil Parang wala na tayo, hindi pa tayo nags hindi tayo sisimula actually eh. Minementain natin at yes. nag-grow pa tayo mm -hmm. uh, sa organization na bigin si Sidney. That's right. So, ayun. <laughs> Please do check our career page. So, <laughs> and then, ayun. So, ayan, thank you so much for our guest this afternoon. Siguro, um, last na lang po, what can you, what's your message to our LGBTQ plus community? Your message since this is Pride Month, in celebration of Pride Month, ano naman ang message po sa mga community natin? Um, sa ating mga brothers and sisters, community, always remember that you are valued, <laughs> you are included, and you are valid. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Group hug. Group hug. Virtual. Ayan, thank you so much for Charlie. Hey, what's your message naman to the community? And we hope na, you know, mas maram tayong natutunan pa, eh, this afternoon, no? Since sabi nga ni, eh, parang very new pa to sa kanya. So, eh, what's your message? Um, yun, uh, magpakatotoo lang tayo. And then, uh, since uh, ito na tayo, uh, wag na lang din natin gawing OA lahat ng sitwasyon. So, magpakasimple lang para at least walang masabi sa atin kasi wala pa man tayong ginagawa unang tingin pa lang sa atin alam natin na meron na silang nasasabi pero kapag nakita nila kung yung totoong ikaw uh, doon nila malalaman na ah okay kahit ganito to uh, eto pala yan so yun thank you so much eh thank you so much Sir Gil your final words thank you so much for your afternoon event final words for this afternoon event kasi we're almost coming up yeah, um, I would have to agree on uh, what um, Charlie and I uh, said earlier. Yes, and everybody is valid. Uh, regardless of your gender, regardless of your identity, all of us has individuality naman. So all of those are valid. So it's okay to be authentic no matter who you are with, no matter what you are. And just again, um, just to make sure that everybody is aligned on what Pride Month is all about. So we are not celebrating 
being gay or being lesbian, we are celebrating um, diversity and inclusivity. So that's more of an equality perspective. Yani. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me over. Yes, thank you so much again on behalf of the whole employee relations team who are here with us this afternoon. Oh. And ito kami lahat, di show yourselves. And ito kami sila the whole time. Pero kanino kasi na like? Oh, oh. <laughs> like, ang dami sa but hindi sila pwedeng magbigay. <laughs> so again, thank you of course to our team. Thank you, Ms. Joseph, for being super supportive on, you know, giving us the... Um, Parang freedom to do this kind platform. of yes, yes, the platform as well. Para sa ating mga employees, you know, to recognize as well the members of the LGBT community. And the, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank yung mga sumali dun sa videos natin. You know, even if they're not uh, part of this um, event right now, yung pag-share nila ng experiences nila is also um, something kasi to, you know, to be parang for us to be aware. Pag nakita, at least pag nakita sila sa video, ah, okay, he is part of the community community and yun pa rin na feel niya. Yeah. They can be proud because yes, that's what how they feel about how we are here in Puno. Yes, and ayan, where can we see, yes, where can we see that video? We will be posting that later. Naka-premiere po siya sa YouTube. At 6 p.m. you will be able to see that video. So, also, that's why we're doing this um, live stream on YouTube. After this event, you can still, you know, watch it all over again. Para, you know, baka meron kayong mga na-miss out. Yeah. You can watch it kahit kailan nyo gusto. Okay. Since I think everyone's busy rin right now. Kasi dahil sa oras. So, ayun. Yeah. So, again, thank you so much. Um, I am Camille Numerable. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I am your host for this afternoon's event. So, again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Charlie. Hi, and Sir Gil for this opportunity na mag-join sa ating event this afternoon. And we Thank hope you. Thank you. that you are um, also happy with this event and let's go for protect. I am to protect you matter. Ayan. Yes. So, again, and not hate. So, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanood. Maraming salamat to protect family. And happy Friday month to everyone. Happy Friday month, everybody. Thank you. Happy Friday month. Happy beginner lang talaga ako, talagang binigay nila yung trust sa akin na I can do it, I can do a good job. Mas naging open ako kay Kuro, parang I can be who I am talaga. So talagang na-express ko talaga yung buong-buo yung sarili ko. I'm proud to be an employee of Kuro Technica. So here kay Kuro Technica, unang-una wala naman discrimination kasi maraming ano, LGBT din na nakikilala ko, like transgender, bi, bisexual, and then may mga gay and all. Welcome naman dito, and then wala naman other discrimination. So, so here you so, 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 I'm a rehar, and experienced naman before, 2017, 2018, that there's no discrimination. So, wala na ako na, at sarili ko na, mag-reapply dito, kasi I know naman na, here in Kuro, that time is my quality, and my, ang talaga, walang discrimination, yung respect, from pagpasok ko nyo sa, uh, lobby, yung grit nila sa iyo, parang kung long hair ka na, 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 na
So parang, so, parang, 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 parang nakatouch naman lang, mamit tao sa akin. Pero, pero since kaya yung focus sa real serial of the PCR, pero wala naman silang discrimination. Just to share with you guys, um, sa first job ko, madami akong yun. Nadaan ng interview. Most of that interview is lagi ako na-discriminate because of my sexuality. And then...